Today we're going to take a look at the unique feature of the 4 Series and that is its flex channel technology. So this allows the user to turn an analog input into 8 digital inputs simply by inserting what we call a TLP058 logic probe. I'm going to use channel 6 for this one. So as I input the probe, the oscilloscope automatically recognizes that it's a TLP58 and it turns the channel into 8 digital channels. Uh, you can't see it, but I've actually connected up uh, D0, D1 and D2 to an SPI uh, bus. So D0 is my clock, D1 is my chip select and D2 is my mozzie. So I've got no need for the other D channels, so I'm going to switch them off. Tap in channel 6 simply by turning them off. So I'm left with D0, D1 and D2. Now I want to decode the SPI bus. So for that I need to add new bus. And then I want to select SPI. So I turn that to SPI. I then have to configure my inputs. Now, in, if I press source, you can see there, channel six has a breakaway. And this then allows me to select the independent digital channels on that particular bus. So D0 is my clock. My chip select is D1. And my data or mozzie is my D2. I then have to configure the thresholds. So we'll put these up to 2.5 volts. Up comes the keypad, nice and user friendly. I'll put them all to 2.5. And this then tells the oscilloscope the difference between the ones and the zeros. So now I need to open up my acquisition. So I was only on 40 nanoseconds per division. So as I open it up, you can see here, it's now starting to decode that SPI on channel 6. If I want to go one step further, I can look at the results table, bus decode, and it automatically comes up bus 1, SPI, and there is my data stream.